guys, welcome back to Aspect Detail. I think it feels like it's been a long time, doesn't it, Blake? I know what you mean, Ben, yeah. It, it hasn't. hasn't. It no, hasn't. It hasn't, it hasn't. So today we're going to recap. Let's just see, start with what we have been up to. The last couple of weeks, well, I mean, we haven't stopped literally and we are booked for weeks, if not months ahead, I believe. Um, the last few days especially, um, it's been quite a mad one because we had one Volvo. In fact, we'll show you it in a minute because it's going out today. Um, a used Volvo, 69 plate or something, is it? Mm. Um, all I know is it's black and it's a Volvo 4x4. Um, it was covered in some kind of acid rain. Um, I haven't really actually come across it before, in all honesty, in the last 16, 17 years being in this industry. Um, we had to make a few phone calls and uh, to people we know um, regarding paint experts and resprays and stuff, and we phoned a good friend of ours and um, an associate, Andy, who owns Chips Away, and he came over yesterday, didn't he? Mm-hmm. And straight away knew what it was, um, and we had to try out a different pot, pod, 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 pad, and cut and compound combo, and we actually went and bought ourselves a new um, rotary machine as well, didn't we? So we, we did, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And you know what? It cut straight through it without, without a problem. Um, we'll show you that in a minute, show how it's come up. It looks super epic. We're also um, being, what are we adding today? Uh, MX5 convertible, which uh, young Kieran's just finishing off for us now. That's going out some point today as well. We've got a brand new T5 van coming in this evening for full corundum detail, getting that ready for tomorrow. Um, what do we have in on, what do we have on Friday? What do we have Friday, Friday, Subaru. Oh yeah, we had a Subaru on Friday. And literally, we haven't stopped this week. We've got loads more stuff in. Ah, and today, because it's now beginning of the boat season, those of you that didn't know, we've been doing boats as long as we have cars. Um, we're very well experienced in that sector as well. So from what bigger super yachts, I think the biggest we've done is 100 metre. Um, I actually flew out to Greece for that one a few years back. <clears throat> Went down to your little um, toppers and things like that. But it's nothing we can't do regarding um, gel coat, rejuvenation, correction, um, teeth rejuvenation and protection, interior valets, etc, etc. Et so we've been down the marina today, haven't we, Blake? It was nice to go to the marina. It was, it was indeed. Nice so day. A, yeah, a little visit down Ah, and we've also had quite a few of our sponsors like um, Charlie from Mental and um, Imran from Evolve. I've got a new hat, if you haven't already noticed. Did 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 Yeah, they chopped us some um, synth loads of stuff over. So we get went to the, what do you call it? What do you call it? I don't know. We were printing, today. clothing, print, print, printing firm for uniforms, clothing been, printers. Yeah, we're to new. We we we'll start working with a new company, and hopefully, they're going to be really good. Um, and we have just come back from there now, so they're going to be printing loads of our new stuff on those particular items. Um, and we've also been designing some new of our own stuff. Um, so we've got a new marine uniform, which is a really nice white with the turquoise and stuff. But we'll show all that when it comes out later on. But listen, let's talk to you about our product range. As you can see behind me. There isn't like 20, 20 sheep. We do live pretty much on four and a half acres of, of, of woodland, but there's no sheep here. But we've got our product range. I think we've discussed this previously before on quite a few of our videos. But I wanted to discuss, or me and Blake or whoever, we all wanted to discuss with you today about our bargain bucket. And no, it's not for five ninety nine chicken freaking link. Good, <laughs> good chicken. Bargain bucket. I like that. Yeah, it is um, our aspect package, which you get if you haven't got already. These really good wash tubs. Wash buckets, whatever you want to call them. And for how much is it? I can't remember. About 80 quid on the website. But 80, is it about 80 pounds? Yeah, for everything, yeah. But okay, you get one of these buckets. You get um, a couple, two, three, four of these microfiber cleaning cloths. One of our special wool pads. Ooh, what wash mitts, actually, even. Dry towels. These are absolutely superb. Honestly, one car will dry very easy with just that one cloth. Grit guard, which is extremely important. And the rabbit. No, that's it. That's the that. <laughs> But you also get five litres of our fantastic shampoo and five litres of our snow foam for about £80. Pounds. So go on our website, click on the link, um, and you're actually saving quite a fortune while buying it as a whole package. Um, we can do add-ons. We can do a bit of discount as well. So we send us an email or something. We'll give you a little voucher discount code if, um, if we're feeling we're feeling good that day. <laughs> we look after you. Listen, let's go over the other side. I want to show you what we've been up to. I'll show you these cars. Brand new MX-5. Follow me. We'll pan through, Blake. I think the, the point about the products as well is, uh, you know, we've always done the five litre stuff. Yeah. And now, obviously, you, you can come to one place and get everything you need. So. Oh, quick, we want the bike. New wheels on the M4. Do you want to tell them why? Well, you might actually think they're not new, they're old. They're from the they non, are, yeah. non-competition M4. But um, 
we put them on because we like the tyres. They're PS4S tyres, which they're a bit wider, aren't they? They're nicer, um, they're and, and really we well. actually think they suit the car. So yeah. let us know what you think. Does that look good or not? Yeah, that would be great. Oh, and how shiny is the car? Obviously, we're good at what we do. We went to a car show on Sunday, 7 o'clock. I don't know what day it's last time. I got up that early. Um, really good, really it's amazing. Good. Lindhurst. Yeah, well, it was fantastic. Hills Prestige Cars. It was. Uh, Hills Prestige Cars. Um, yeah, listen, the amount of people that turned out with supercars, obviously... A lot of people knew us already, thankfully. Um, we got networking with everyone, picked up some new clients. Um, yeah, there's all sorts going on here. I don't know these you have seen. This is our little aspect car. We use this pretty much throughout the day. A little walk around today, about where we are. And nice. listen, listen, listen to the birds. This is where we work and where we live. So you can imagine, it's beautiful. Porsche tucked away, hiding in the trees. Okay, let's see what young Kieran's up to. So, Kieran, how are you doing? I'm good. It's good, good, good. Swipe up the mats. This is for a new MX-5. Um, Carl's delivered this morning or last night. Um, one of the two, I can't even remember. Um, and we have had the task of doing a uh, correction detail and uh, a ceramic coating. Um, wheels car, off. And wheels off. Yes, wheels off, most importantly. The car's brand spanking new, but unfortunately the dealership... Come on, this way. Had... Quite heavily marked the car, so obviously we've corrected that out, giving it a paint rejuvenation just to really bring back the lustre and appearance of the paintwork, make it look lovely and shiny. Um, we've done a roof protection, so this has had a three three layers uh, waterproof um, protection on it, as well as a full interior detail as well. All the door shuts and everything that have been ceramic coated, the boot, etc., etc., etc. So yeah, looking lovely and fresh. Your wheels, Blake. These are the original set. That's right. Yes, that's what we were talking about a second ago. Um, Competition wheels. What do you think the cut? Oh, Quickly, I'm gonna sneeze. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Thank you very man. much. Yeah, thank you. Right. So, what do you think about going oh, orange inside, like the GTS, but matched to the car? <laughs> oh, there he goes again. I'm having a sneezing for you. I actually had my COVID jab on Friday night, and I tell you what, hey, excuse me. He's gone again. <laughs> Blabbing hell, mate. He, um, has, he hasn't been the same since. No, it knocked me all weekend. It's absolutely. It, it wrecked me out. I found I was just about ready for the car show on Sunday, which I didn't think I was going to go to. Excuse me again. Here we go. Oh, my God. It goes, right, Ben, I think that's enough for the camera enough. now. See, we right. do things pretty much. Um, well. There's no cutting here. I think um, we'll go on to the Volvo. Volvo, yes. Yeah, so, Volvo itself. Um, when it came in, it's booked in a brand new van for tomorrow, which is arriving today as well. Yeah, excuse the sneezing. Quickie. Um, <laughs> gosh. Um, this was covered in... Only what I can describe is, I don't know, how would you describe it? It, it looked pitted. Acid damage. Uh, yeah, some kind of some kind of product had been put on the car. Um, the water stains, I mean, were ridiculous. In fact, they looked like they were under the lacquer, which we've seen before on, um, on painted cars. And generally what happens is if you've, well, if you've got this problem at home and you wash your vehicle, there's probably someone out there with this problem. You wash your car and you dry it, and all of a sudden there's water spots reappear. What's happening is when it was painted, it was effectively still quite damp underneath in the paint, and they lacquered straight on top of the dampness, which then obviously causes... Um, trapped water. Trapped water, well, yeah, H2O, but obviously uh, trapped water then gets sealed within the lacquer, and the only way you're gonna get that out is to simply heat the bonnet with a heat gun. Um, a little bit dangerous, you've got to be careful what you're doing, but it can solve the problem. So if you get any problems like that ever, give us a message, give us a call, because we pretty much gone through everything until today with this. So getting back onto this, um, I was a little bit lost, and I'm not going to lie. We tried various compounds that we have, um, and pads and, and pad combos, and uh, excuse me, no, nothing would work whatsoever. So we found out a good friend of ours, Andy, who's an associate, one of our, our, our good spots is who owns Chips Away. Chips Away. <laughs> and he came over to us yesterday, brought him for a slice of cake and a cup of coffee and a free wash of him. Um, but he comes over anyway. And he, he knew straight away when it was some type of acid rain and he, he told us a new cut and compound that we needed to buy, which would work really well, which works in the paint shops, um, which was actually... We'll show you. We've got some new pads, which we haven't tried, which work exceptionally well. So we've got some G360 Superfast Compound by Fa... Farrakler, I call it for seller, but 
It's actually pasta, so I've got that wrong. I don't know how you <laughs> That's definitely not pasta. No, no, it's definitely not pasta. It's quite a liquidy, runny product, but it cuts extremely well. It smells like lemons when you cut them with it. So we had that going with, we bought a new DA because we needed a new one anyway. Uh, not DA, rotary, sorry. We need a new one anyway. We've got about five or six machines now. And we bought one of these. Um, value for money, excellent tool. I mean, we, we were running on 1,000 revs yesterday, um, working with this pad combo. Um, very dusty, as you can see. Um, here's probably why I'm still sneezing. Um, really, 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 really dusty product. Whereas you guys, if you are aware, when you're working with Meguiar's products, with the new stuff and their pads, the whole idea of it is no dust. Oh no, someone's knocked over our ceramic pot by the looks of things. Come on, we'll sort that out in a moment. So we're working with this yesterday, one cup with this, and it took all of the imperfections, literally, straight out the bonnet. Now you have to be careful when you're using a rotary machine. It is completely different to a DA. Um, if, you, if you've never used a machine before, always start with a DA because um, you can't really go wrong. But when you, you, you're doing high end deep cutting and stuff and paint corrections, you want to be using a rotary generally most of the time and then finishing with a DA. But anyway, look, tell us again what you think in the comments below. We cut this back. Um, this in fact, we might even have some photos. I don't know if we have photos or videos, possibly. I don't I'm know. not sure. Um, maybe like, be able to upload it in the link. If not, then apologies. But look at the finish on it now. So he's coming shortly to pick this up. We've done a full interior detail of this as well. Um, if it was a tall, I thought it might be in the morning he's coming. Um, but yeah, there we go. So we've been up to all sorts. Boats, boat quoting, car quoting. We've got loads coming on. Um, next week we're busy. This Saturday we're in Brentwood. Oh yes, also ID all day with Auto ID and Tim Williams and Tim, Mr. Tim Williams. This is going to be a great one. I'm really looking forward to this. Blake's most certainly looking forward to this. I'm having to sacrifice seeing my my youngest this weekend, um, but you know it, it's a benefit for the business, obviously, so we can you know put the name out there and obviously you know. And Sunday. Yeah, and Sunday as well. Yeah, we're um, Sunday, right? Okay, so this is yeah. just our weekend. Sunday, we're going to London Park Lane to pick up a brand new. BMW M5, and we're going to be doing a video on that, which I think we'll be releasing next Tuesday, if that's correct. Yeah. Um, yeah, for, so look out for that. It's going to be brilliant. Brand new BMW M5 to go park the fleet. John's really excited, Blake's dad. We can't wait. This car is going to look epic. We've already bought all the carbon bits for it. Um, this car is going to, honestly, it's going to look gorgeous. It's, we think it's the right colour. They've done a fantastic deal at Park Lane, a really, really crazy deal. And that's all to thanks again of uh, being associated with and a good friend of ours, Imran, who's helped us get our VIP discount there as well. Um, I'm not to tell the price at the moment, but ridiculously cheap what we paid for it. And so, the, the M4 is going up to uh, <coughs> insane oh, performance for is, a, yeah. a new crank hub for the week. Yeah, it is, yeah. So, so we are driving here Saturday, going to Brentwood, filming all day, probably going to stay in Brentwood the night, in Essex for the night, um, and then get up in the morning, go to Park Lane in London, and then we're leaving London, uh, we're going as a two-car convoy up to Leicestershire. Yeah. And then we're going to drop Blake's car from in, in or the origin for in Leicestershire and then come back in the M5, a little road trip back. So we've got to put some miles on it to run it in. So we might, might, might uh, 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 excuse me, we thought we might as well make... Um, Through uh, the journey. Yeah, a little journey and a good trip out of it. So, yeah, that's a bit about us for the week. Um, we have been so busy that literally, unfortunately, we've not been able to spend much time just concentrating on one individual car. Um, but next week, we are going to be ramp out. We've got loads of new content coming in. It's going to be absolutely brilliant. So I'll say this Saturday, this Sunday, the rest of this week, God knows, it's all going on here. Um, new uniforms coming, new brand and stuff. We're also thinking about bringing out some T-shirts. We've got some really quirky logos and designs to come on. So again, let us know in the comments if you'd be interested in buying any of them. We're not going to be asking ridiculous amounts of money for them. Um, but, you know, they look really, really good. Obviously, have the aspect logo just itself. But more importantly, have some really quirky kind of logos and designs and stuff on it. In fact, is there any kind of t-shirt you'd like from the detail and valid in the industry, you've got an idea, great, send it to us. Let yeah, us let know. Us know. Write it in a comment. Even email us um, at hello at aspectdetailing.co.uk and um, we will gladly, um, you know, look at the designs and then find out we like them. We'll print it. Why the hell not? We haven't got a problem with that. So big love to you guys. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you very soon. Yeah, and if you want to check out the products, there'll be a link in the description. Somewhere here, 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 or here. <laughs> see you later.